So if you are clicking to this video, you might have probably come across the idea of having an iPad for your academic tasks, such as note taking, uh, completing digital past papers, or just studying overall. Hi, my name is Mario, and I am a 17 year old international A level student from Spain. I recently got the iPad Air 4 and the Apple Pencil 2, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you should get an iPad for your A levels. Before I start talking about how good this device is for students, let me tell you why I personally got an iPad myself. Those that have been following me for some time already uh, know that I am in year 13 and that I am currently taking uh, physics, chemistry, uh, maths and further maths A levels. I had always wanted to become digital academically speaking. Some time ago, I already started using Notion, a digital app, to be able to track my assignments and exams. And I also use the app of Anki so that I can study through the use of digital flashcards. I am also a past paper guy, if you know what I mean. I am constantly doing past paper questions to study for my exams. However, the fact that I actually needed a printer uh, to be able to print every single past paper that I wanted to do, it was something a bit frustrating. So my next step towards my academic digital future was getting the iPad. Now let's talk about pricing. This is something to really consider as you're going to be investing a very significant amount of money into the iPad and its accessories. Personally, I got the iPad Air 4 uh, for 649 euros, which comes off to 550 British pounds. I also got the Apple Pencil for 99 euros through a discount, an Amazon discount for Black Friday. And I also got a case for uh, 35 euros. This comes to a total of 783 euros, which is approximately 667 British pounds. It would have been around 500 euros uh, or 400 British pounds uh, if I would have been able to choose the base model, but I wasn't able to do so. So I had to pay 270 euros more. Um, life stuff, baby. Although it is not particularly cheap, uh, it is not too uh, ridiculously expensive. Uh, considering the great value of the product. I see it as a long-term investment for my last year of school and my future years at university. My next point is note-taking. Writing on the iPad using the Apple Pencil is a great experience overall. It obviously still doesn't feel like you're writing on paper, uh, you're writing on a screen, but however, I still like it as much, if not more, than uh, writing on physical real paper. Maybe it is because I recently started using it uh, and it feels like a new way of writing. The fact that you can write using multiple colors, that you can erase and undo, that you can move text around the page and that you can add images, all of them are game changers. Then you can also import past papers and write on top of them as if you had just printed the, the page. And this single feature for me is the one that already makes it worth it. Especially when exam season comes, uh, whether it be on March for my mocks or in uh, May or June for my final exams. This will come in really handy as I won't have to print nor waste time uh, writing the questions on my notebook. The app that I use to take notes and keep all of my documents uh, together and organized is called GoodNotes 5. I was between Notability and GoodNotes 5 and I decided going with GoodNotes just because of its file system. It is just more intuitive to me, but any of these two apps will be great uh, for sure. Portability. Uh, well, I think I don't need to elaborate much on this so that you make yourself an idea. Uh, the average iPad measures around 500 grams. Uh, my iPad Air, I think it is about 460 grams, something like that. And so it is really easy to carry with you uh, everywhere you go. For example, my iPad weighs the same or even less than my textbooks. If you actually have the opportunity to use it during school, if your school allows having iPads during class, then you can easily lower your bag's weight by uh, removing some of the books from your bag and just downloading them digitally on your iPad. This leads me to using the iPad in school. I personally do not yet use my iPad to take notes in class. I still prefer to use my notebooks for each of my classes because it just, you know, helps have everything at one place. Writing on the iPad is also slower than paper, so that's one reason as well why I don't 
choose to use it for uh, taking notes in class. Still, during A-level, you have free periods, which are ideally meant for studying. And to have an iPad in those frees is a huge game changer. You can work on any past paper that you wish without needing to go and print it. You can take notes related to your past classes. You can watch any video relevant to your classes uh, and your topics during this time on your iPad. So in that sense, it is pretty useful. And you can work at the same time that you get to vibe to some music. So I hope you found this video helpful towards deciding whether having an iPad and an Apple Pencil uh, for your A-levels, in this case, for your academics, is worth the price. Needless to say, you don't need an iPad to do well, uh, to perform well academically. I have done just fine before having an iPad. It's not like if you buy an iPad, you'll get higher grades. Uh, it just doesn't work like that. It is just a tool that, if used effectively, can help you achieve better results in a more efficient way while having fun during the process. As always, you can leave a thumbs up if you think this video deserves it. You can also consider subscribing if you do not want to miss my future videos. Also, let me know any other videos you might be interested in uh, related to uh, the iPad and using the iPad for school. Uh, and I will think about making that video that you suggest because I actually want to make videos that you guys find helpful and useful. So that's the best way to make sure that I do so by asking you guys uh, for ideas. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.